the New York Rangers are proud to select from the Rimouski Oceanic, Alexi Lafreniere. The 2020 draft got underway last night. There's the reaction in the Lafreniere house. It was remote, of course, because of the pandemic. Not a lot of surprise the Rangers grabbed Alexi Lafreniere on the first overall pick. Matt Cullen from CBC Sports is here with me because we get to talk about the draft. Matt, this, they call his a generational talent, a once-in-a-generation talent. So, you know, the Rangers making a beeline to Alexi Lafreniere. That's correct, Heather. Good morning. Uh, you know, the insiders don't always get it right, but this one they did. For years, Alexi Lafreniere had been predicted as the number one NHL draft pick. He is the complete player, and it is a dream for any young hockey player, not only to hear your name called at the draft or in the first round, but number one overall. Now, of course, this was different this year, Heather. There was no walk across the stage. There was no packed arenas the jersey, the hat, the commissioner. There was none of that this year, but there were some intriguing moments. And of course, uh, Lafreniere, uh, who is from St. Eustache, he was the first Quebec-born player to hear his name called at number one since 2003, when Marc-Andre Fleury went as the top pick. Uh, he was a star at the World Juniors, Lafreniere was. And he was also a star for the Ramouski Oceanic in the Quebec Major Junior League, just like Sidney Crosby, who was also a former number one. Now, there was a specific intriguing part about this uh, for uh, Lafreniere because he could only watch with his immediate family, St. Eustache, Quebec, about 40 kilometers north west of Montreal. It's in a red zone right now, so that means no traveling and especially no gatherings. Uh, so certainly not how he imagined it, uh, but a proud moment for Lafreniere, his family, and really the province of Quebec. Now, listen, the L.A. Kings had the second overall pick, and from them we got a little hockey history, Matt. Well, that's right. The standout player from the Sudbury Wolves, this is Quinton Byfield. He made history becoming the highest selected black player in the history of the NHL draft. Both Evander Kane and Seth Jones were taken at number four back in 2009 and 2013, respectively. But Byfield was number two. And what is especially impressive for Quinton Byfield is that neither of his parents uh, played hockey. Uh, and he said prior to the draft that this was definitely very special to him to to be in the record books as the highest selected black hockey player. And he was congratulated all across the board, uh, but specifically by Evander Kane, uh, who was a member of the Hockey Diversity Alliance. He sent out this tweet recognizing Byfield's accomplishment. Congratulations on the second overall selection and becoming the highest drafted black player in history. We don't want to miss the moment for the San Jose Sharks or the moment that they provided. They may have had the final mm. pick in the first round, but they certainly made, uh, made that moment a memorable one. Let's look at this together, okay? The San Jose Sharks are proud to select from the Prince Albert Raiders, Ozzy Weisblatt. Well, what a reaction this was. That was the director of scouting for the San Jose Sharks, Doug Wilson Jr. And look at his hand. He's using sign language. That's because Ozzie Weisblatt's mother, Kim, is deaf, a single mother of five children. Kim worked multiple jobs to put her four boys in competitive high-level hockey. And uh, Wilson Jr. spelt out Ozzy's first name in sign language. Uh, she knew how much of a role Kim played. Uh, and he said, if I was in this moment, I would want to be able to share it with my parents, too. Uh, no one is happier and more relieved to hear their name called at the Number end of the first round. Heather, uh, certainly that's a moment that Kim, Ozzy, and NHL fans will remember for a long, long time. Matt, thanks so much. Great to see you on this this morning, the first day of the NHL draft in CBC Sports. Matt. Matt Cullen. Why don't we show you one more moment? The Ottawa Senators, they had the third overall pick, and they had some fun uh, calling on Ottawa friends like this familiar face. Here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. Thank you, Johnny. Hi, everyone, and welcome to Jeopardy. Our category today is the NHL, and here is the clue for you. With the third pick in the 2020 NHL Draft, the Ottawa Senators choose this player. The correct response, who is Tim Stutzel? 
Well, let me tell you who he is. He's 18 years old, the top-ranked European skater in the draft. Alex Trebek, incidentally, why do they bring him in? He's a grad from the University of Ottawa, so a little flair to the night. We should tell you the commissioner announced the league and the Players Association have agreed on January the 1st as the start date for the new season. This is CBC News Network.